take a step away from the NPP and politics. The Buffer Stock Company Limited has started distributing food items to senior high schools after complaints emerged of shortages across the country. Some schools have had to serve students meals twice a day, while others have been allowed, are allowing students to go out to purchase foodstuffs. Some parents who can also afford have been allowed to purchase and send foodstuffs to their children in school. The Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools, CHAS, explained that the schools have endured food shortages for at least two years while supplies have not been forthcoming. With respect to the senior high school policy directives, in the Eastern Region, for example, the Upper West Region, the Council of the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools had earlier resolved to recommend to the Ghana Education Service to close down schools by Friday if government fails to supply the food items to the schools. We know CHAS has raised concern also about funds meant for perishables, which are still in arrears since 2021, and only two lodgements made in 2022. Well, for some parents, it is time for the schools to devolve feeding of the students to the Parents Teacher Association. One parent, Margaret Amoli Achase, believes that it's one of the ways to ensure the bedding is taken off the schools. She's also been advocating shutdown of the schools that are badly affected by these shortages. It's really so sad. When I heard the story, it grieved me a lot. Because we believe that as parents, when we send our words to school, the school becomes their second home. And we expect that they are saved in every sphere. It's painful to be hungry, especially when it comes to those who cannot provide for themselves. They need to depend on somebody to feed them. So if that person is failing and they have to suffer, I think it's something that is alarming. My words, she doesn't face a challenge much, uh, though it's not too perfect. So whenever we are going for a visit, she requests of a series of meals that she feels she has missed from home, and I'll cook. And as a mother, I don't cook just to feed the stomach of my child. I will cook in abundance so that all those around her can also get something. When you are in the house, you are eating. Your world is sleeping hungry. I think uh, in the normal circumstances, a parent who cares cannot be comfortable. So even it happened that authorities are failing to feed our children, I think it's a good move that Parent Teachers Association, collectively as a group or individuals among them, can take up the tax to feed the children. We hope that by Friday, they should be able to supply the schools. Now, Gabson Kofi Raphael is Acting General Secretary of the National Council for PTAs of Ghana. He's joining us for a conversation. Thank you, Raphael, for joining us. Do we know if the situation has normalized in schools from your assessment? Thank you very much, and thank you for the opportunity to speak to your cherished listeners. Uh, identify with our colleague parent who was so worried. The situation she is just explaining summarizes the situation on the ground. As I speak to you today, I can tell you that our assessment across all the trade zones or belts, the country has been zoned into three belts. And the belts from the data I have, we have the 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 middle, the lower belt, the lower belt made up of Greater Accra, Volta, Central and Western region. Our assessment of all the senior secondary schools shows that the situation is that there are no foods in the stores and what is available is something that they are just managing. So it clearly tells you what is happening. The middle belt, which is Bono, Bono uh, Ahafo, and Bono is former Brown Ahafo, Ashanti and Eastern Region too. The situation is the same. And then the upper belt, that is the upper East region, the upper West region, the northern regions, which is now uh, uh, northeast, northern, and then savannah, they also are complaining that, uh, in fact, it, it's not easy to even get funds to uh, funds or food supplies to feed the children. Now, 
it is so serious to the point that uh, his masters are beginning to fail and then storekeepers and then school matrons or caterers and then those who are kitchen staff they are beginning to feel like uh, they don't know what is actually keeping the system going from bad to worse mm. and it is so serious that i think that it, it, it calls for all of us to look at the best way we can find solutions to the, the ministry of education had told us variously during the week that they were ensuring that some of these supplies were sent to the schools are you saying that from your assessment these supplies they speak of either have not reached the schools or they are just not adequate i'm saying that as i speak to you most of the schools that we have done an assessment we don't want to mention specific schools and you know sometimes when you mention specific schools it creates issues and people begin to zoom their lenses on them and that is for the reason why we are just telling generally generally tells you that when you take on a scale of one to ten i can tell you that we are just about two two on a scale of one to ten thank you very much Raphael gaps in there he is the general secretary of a council of pta speaking to us